What is up guys, Sean Logan the fan of a flyer here, back with another video, back with another unboxing I should say. And yeah, in this video, I want to talk about this, because this is kind of what's gonna be like the part of the future of my channel. Like, you've seen me fly my fan of 4 a whole bunch of times, plenty of times in the past, made many videos on that, had great fun. But it's something I want to do. Since not all of you can probably afford something as intensive as a Phantom 4, what I want to try doing now is I, I want to buy drones that I see online that aren't too expensive and review them to show you how they are. So any beginners who might want to pick up a drone just for the, for the, for the fun of FPV flying. So yeah, inside this DHL parcel is one of those. So we are going to open it up on camera. Unbox it. So, one second, please. Uh, stupid memory card. All right. So, and small side note: this is the first video I'm filming on my new iPhone, on the iPhone 8. So, yeah, 4K at 60 frames per second. Let's go. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Hashtag 4K60 hype. All right. Let's go. Ugh. Yeah, being greeted with another box here. Let's also cut into this one as well. Right. Now you can kind of already see what's inside. This is it. Mm. This is what I picked up. Now, the reason I picked this one up is, okay, there's a delivery list in there. The reason I picked this one up is because this drone has a very special feature about it. Uh, this is actually a, it's, it's almost a DJI Mavic Pro ripoff because it is a foldable drone and shape-wise, if you notice, it looks very similar to the Mavic, which is why I picked this up. So, I thought maybe because it's a 720p camera, if, if, if I ever go out, I can just take this with me, toss it in my backpack, because like, uh, uh, unless I have the absolute intention of going to somewhere just for flying, then obviously I'll take my Phantom with me. But if, if I'm just going somewhere for the first time, and I may just want to capture some aerial shots, then, I, then this guy might be a pretty good fit. But as I've never used this before, I'm not going to know how it is just yet. So I'm, we're gonna we're gonna open it up and we're gonna take a look at it now. By the way, I just want to say very clearly, this is not and I repeat, not a paid promotion of this drone. If it sucks, I'll tell you it sucks. This is the Visuo. I think it's the XS uh, XS9 XS809 H WHDG. Oh man. Anyway, so let's just open it up. Now stalling. So yeah, that comes right off, and inside we get this plastic bit, and wow, right there, here it is. This is the drone. Now, I, mean, I touched it for a second, and yeah, it feels pretty cheap. Doesn't really feel very, like very sturdy plastic, but yeah, the it unfolds like so. Like that, and yeah, this looks okay. I think it's the, the you can see the gears in there. The motors aren't very really covered up. Okay, so yeah, this is what it looks like. That's the camera over there. Don't expect too much from this thing right off the bat because I can feel it. It doesn't feel very sturdy plastic, so yeah. But that's basically what it is. Um, they, the arms clamp in like that. But that's why this thing kind of is considered to be a Mavic killer, but trust me, it's not killing the Mavic anytime soon. But yeah, it folds in like that, so it's nice and compact, and I can just toss it in my backpack. So yeah. And one more thing I keep forgetting, over here is the battery. Um, it's a bit of a struggle to take out. Mm, hang on, let me get this out. I got it. This is the battery. It's a very small battery. It's about the size of a thumb drive. And yeah, it, sh it should give about 10 minutes of flight time. And there's the on-off switch in there. 
Alright, so we're gonna set this off to the side. Alright, and now, what else do we get in the box? Alright, now this over here, this is the remote controller. Now, I am gonna say right off the bat, I think this used to be an Xbox controller. Because, this feels legitimately like an Xbox controller. It even has kind of triggers over here. This feels a lot like an Xbox controller. Except for this thing over here, which is um, powered by, I think, double A's or triple A's, one of them. So yeah, point is, this feels like an Xbox controller. You got a D-pad over here. I don't know what that's for, but yeah, this is for uh, up, down, so rotate left, rotate right, strafe forward, strafe, strafe back, strafe left, strafe right. All right, and now opening this thing up, you can put your iPhone in here, and you can get, uh, like, uh, you can see from the drone, almost like on the Phantom, you can get FPV. This is auto take off, auto land, and this is an emergency stop button for the rotors. But yeah, so this here, this is an automatic return to home. That's the thing for the lights. Or uh, it's, it's headless mode or something. But yeah, this is the Xbox controller. And this is speed and this is uh, flip. Let's set that off to the side as well. What else is in the box? Let's see. Alright, so now. And here is our accessories and over here this is an instruction manual for the drone so you boss this way quickly then I'll get back to you alright so that's our user manual and in here, is our, uh, in here are our accessories. So, comes in this Ziploc bag. We can just pull this open and get this out of there. So we get extra. We get a charging cable first of all, which is just a standard micro USB. And you get uh, two extra sets of blades, and you also get some prop guards, which is nice, and a screwdriver. Oh, it's a nice screwdriver. So yeah, that's basically all you get with the drone. Alright, so I figured it out. Over here there are these panels that kind of pop out, I think. It's coming. Yes, got it. So this thing pops out and you stick your landing gear in there. Ouch. Like so. Now that's in there. Turn on the landing gear, your prop guards. So yeah, now that should protect the blades. Because, yeah. Somewhat. But again, flimsy Chinese plastic. But yeah, this is basically the drone. So, I'm actually just going to end this here. Um, because I, I kind of think I may have gotten ripped off. Because the camera over there is a lot smaller than it looks in this box picture. Like, I, I think this one is the 2 megapixel camera, this is the 0.3 megapixel camera. I paid the $3 extra and I got this. So yeah, this is the last time I buy anything directly from China. And yeah, but I, I will try to make more of these comparison videos as time goes on. But until then, I hope you enjoy, I hope you enjoyed this one. I know I, could, I probably could have made this a little better. But yeah, it is what it is. And uh, hope you enjoyed it. Click here, subscribe. Click here for the Steam gift card giveaway. Concluding soon, click there and there to see two other videos. Until the next one, Sean Logan the Phantom of Flyer, signing out. Goodbye.